All right, good morning everybody. Happy Warrior Wednesday to you. We've got a great workout coming up for you. We're gonna be doing a, a strength-based, a little bit of endurance-based workout. Grab a kettlebell if you have it. Otherwise, just use your dumbbell or body weight. We'll be with you in a couple minutes. Give you a chance to pop on. We got our morning crew popping on, seeing some familiar faces. We got Bo Janelle popping on there. Excellent. Good morning to you. <clears throat> All right, morning, Sandy. Getting up early. All right, grab your kettlebell when you got it. Get that ready. Uh, we're going to do some different moves, and I'll show you that here in about a minute. So I'll give you a chance to get ready. All right. Morning, Mrs. Williams. Morning, Nakia. See you hopping on. All right. Morning, Chrissy Murphy. Get ready. Woo. Got Linda and Nick. Checking it out. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's get this show going. Got a good groove on. Perform each exercise in the following way. All right, we're going to take you through a warm up here. Tempo for 50 so just nice and easy body weight warm up. 50 seconds of work. We're just going to start with an inchworm. One. Go. Keep the feet shoulder width apart. Walk the hands out. Walk the hands in. Keep repeating that for 50 seconds. While I mute my computer there. All right, so walk the hands out, walk them in. Stretch out the back of the legs. Real good. Halfway. Get us ready to train. Another day to get better. Another day to get better. Come on. Hey, guess what? You're making me better too by doing these. I'm feeling good too. Woo, feeling these as well. Stop. Recover. For All two right. Seconds. Okay, we're gonna do a squat warm up. Begin exercise. I'll turn three. at an angle. Stretch the hips back. Shift the hips right to left. Sit back down. Take some deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. That way. Get your mind right this morning. This is something you've got control over right now. Give yourself 20, 30 minutes here of some you time. If you're doing this with your kids, that's even better. Get them active with you. Let them see you. Do what you do. Inspire them. Stop. All right, good. Okay, we're going to be on the, uh, on the uh, floor, hand in position. We're going to raise one foot up to the ceiling. Go. Stretch and reach. And then bring your leg through to a pigeon stretch. Sit down on the shin. And then switch sides. And then reach through. Sit and stretch. Nice five minute warm up flow. Switching legs, reaching. That way. And stretching. Reaching. And stretching. Try to get some deep breathing in while you're going through this five minutes. Check in with yourself. As we 
We've got to turn things up here in a few. Stop. Recover for 10 seconds. All right, good. Okay, we're going to be on the hands and knees. Begin exercise number four. Okay, reach three to a bird dog. Two, one, go. Okay, so right arm. Reaches through, stretching up the back. Bird dog, activate the glutes and core. Body know it's going to be moving. Gradually Stop. wake it up. All right, the last one. Rock back to be sit. Begin exercise number okay, five. So you're going to roll backwards Three, here. Two, stretch. Two, one. Go. And then shoot the legs wide as you stretch forward. Rock back. And stretch forward. Try not to bounce on the stretches. You can shift side to side. Last one in the warm-up. Halfway. Now today what we're going to be doing for you, we're going to be doing a tri-set. So I've got three moves. But again, like I do, I've got variations of them for you. But we're going to go through them in a pyramid format. So you got 15 seconds of work, 30 seconds, 45 to 60. Seconds. We're going to go up the mountain, hang out at the top, hang out for a bit. We're going to come back down the mountain. All right, so let's get ourselves ready. First round is going to be just body weight. Body weight base, this is a good foundation round. Stick with the same uh, movements if needed. Right. 15, 30, 45, 60, 60, 45, 30, 15, pyramid interval triceps. First perform ascending 15, 30, 45, 60 ladder interval. All right, crew. Three different Let's exercises. get ourselves going. We got Kathy Nelson. Good morning to you. Then perform descending right. 60, 45, 30, 15, ladder intervals. Okay, body weight squat. Switching exercises the first one. every set. Let's get a squat to a short 15 second rest and transition between exercises. Now let him talk. Just listen. The music will tell you exactly what to do. All right, just follow along. Body weight. Weights. Exercise number one. Crank it in three. Take your time on this round. 15 one, seconds of work. Good. Squatting and reaching. Squatting and reaching. Arms out in the front. Stop. All right, good. Okay, 15 second breaks between every move. We're just going to do a simple plank hold. So down on the forearms. 15 second work periods. Exercise number two. Keep the elbows right in. Three. Right under two, the shoulders. One. Go. Go. Hold it. You can see me. Hold it from the toes if you can right now. Otherwise, go to your knees. That's okay. You can do. Stop. All right. Now we're going to do a dead bug. So this is a good ab stabilizer. This is the position. Make sure your low back stays flat. 15 second work into the floor. Exercise number three. And head Bring is up. In three, two, one, go. Hey, knees are bent. So this is your good option. If there's any ab moves that are too challenging, go back to this one. Make yourself stronger. Stop. Good. All right. Now we're gonna go up a little bit. 30 seconds of work. Grab your kettlebell. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, this is a hard thing to do. Exercise so you can just one. do squats three, with your dumbbell, two, one, but figure go. eight, you're going to pass the bell behind the leg, squatting down, and we're just going to transfer it around the leg nice and easy right now. So kettlebell figure eight. Keep your back flat. That way. Try not to fumble the bell and ruin your floor. 
hands now on each move. Stop. Good. All right, pendulum plank. So we have plank position. We're just going to step our feet. 30 side seconds. Side to side. Exercise number two. Crank it in three, two, okay, hold one, a good plank. go. Just 30 seconds of movement here. Right to left with the feet, adding a little bit more difficulty to the plank. Otherwise, you can hold still for the whole 30 seconds.
once you get up top, all that hard work, you got to get back down. So you got to stay focused. Let's go. So you're reaching the summit, reaching the top, reaching your goal. And that ain't where it stops. That way. Then you got to stay focused and maintain. And then look for another mountain to climb, baby. Let's go. Fifteen seconds left. Breathe. Underneath. Around. Hold. Underneath. Around. Hold. Stop. Good. All right. Super plank to jacks. Super plank jacks. Sixty second work periods. Exercise number two. Crank it. Three, All right. Push up two, position. Wide feet. Go. Wide, wide. Jumping them out. Jumping them in. Going down. Out in. And you're gonna try to have steady movement for one minute. Big work on your endurance down. today. While maintaining your strength and the muscle on the body. That way. And I put this move in there at the end here so you know if you're working hard or not. Because you should have a couple raindrops coming from your forehead. 15 seconds left. If not, splatter a little water on your face. Make me happy. Let's go. Amuse me. Stop. Good. Whew. All right, knee grab to row on our backs. So we're going to row the arms 60 seconds at the top. Periods. Exercise number three. Crank it. Pull three, back. two, one. Go. go. Okay, steady for a minute. Full body, core exercise, hit the upper back especially, important. 15 seconds Good posture. Down. Remember, if you can, do what you can do today. Maybe just go up the mountain. Who knows? Maybe just hang out there for, for a day, and then you go back down the mountain tomorrow. Do what you can do. Okay, goblet squat. Crank it in three. Hold the bell. Two, one. Go goblet go. squat. Nice and low. Eyes up, chest up. Focus on your breathing. Three seconds down. Maybe do that. That way. 
30 seconds. Mine's 
said, finish what you started, and finish better than you started. Let's go. Stop. Good. Okay, put your bill on the side. We'll do a push-up transfer. Stick with basic push-ups. Otherwise, we're going to transfer back and forth. Second work. Hand on, hand on. Exercise number two. Crank it in three, two, two one, go. And then step. Other hand on, on. Step down. Here. At that elevation, that's a whole different angle on the chest. with me. I love it. I love it. Ooh, quick message for you. Uh, holy. Holy sweat drops. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today. All right. So, today, today's message is about not wasting an opportunity and not wasting time. So there's this famous violinist back in the 1800s. His name was Nicola Paganini, and he was a virtuoso is what they called him. You see, he played in his first concert at the age of 11, his first orchestra, and he changed the landscape, and he changed the way that Europe played the violin back in his day. He was the greatest they ever knew. And upon his death, when he died, he, in his will, he gifted his hometown, Genoa, Italy, he gifted him with his most prized violin. 
His most prized violin, he gave it to the city. But he gave it to him on one condition. That nobody ever touches the violin, nobody ever plays the violin ever again. That he was the last one to ever play it. And so the city was ecstatic. The, the governing officials were so excited to get his famous violin in their city. And they put it in a beautiful box. And they put it in the museum. Funny thing, though, about wooden uh, violins is that they've got a unique quality to them. If the wooden violin is played by, by people and it's passed on and it's used, it, remain, it, it retains its high quality. And it can be heard still playing. There's violins from his day that are still playing right now for audiences to see and hear and enjoy. But you see, his violin, with those wooden violins, if they don't get played, they don't get used, they decay and then they rot. And that's exactly what happened to his. His masterpiece, that treasured item, is now just a rotten relic of the greatness that once was. So don't leave it in the case. That's the message for you today. Don't leave your greatness hidden inside and not sharing it with the world. That's not why we're here. Right? The more we share, the more we win. And guys, here's how you can apply this to your life and your family. Some of you have more time than others right now. You're stuck at home. Use that to build your skills. Use that to read some books on something that's important to you. That's not just a bunch of garbage, right? Something that's gonna make you better. Make sure you're working on per perfecting your craft. Maybe that's music, maybe that's tech, whatever it is, with your family and your kids. Don't just be sitting around watching Netflix all day and then eating a bunch of junk and, not, and playing video games. I'll tell you this, I know one thing for sure, 20 years from now, your kids are gonna remember you. They're gonna remember this moment in their life and they're gonna look back and they're gonna say what they did during that time with their family. Oh man, I remember this happened 20 years ago, right? We just played video games all the time, we just watched TV all the time, sat on the couch. That's what I remember. Or, you could not leave it in the case, you could pass on your greatness to generations to come, work out with your kids, get them fit, get fit as a family, get movement involved. They're gonna remember that, and they're like, man, well, we worked out with my, my parents during this time. I remember that when I was a kid, that was the best time of my life. And we, we cooked meals together, and we really bonded as a family together, and we grew stronger because of that, that event. I remember that, so it's up to you, all right? I hope you guys have a great day. Hope that message inspired you to do something great today. Have an awesome one. I'll be back for more tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Get after it, everybody.